My name is Matthew Francis and I'm one of the tech support specialists here at GoEngineer. In this video, I would like to show you how we can use some of the functions available inside of Excel to help us drive some of the features of our SolidWorks model. Specifically, I would like to have the last three digits of my configuration name drive a dimension inside of my SolidWorks model. In this example, I have created a 2x4 piece of wood in which the last part of my configuration name is going to drive the actual length of my piece of wood. I have begun by creating a SOLIDWORKS model of my 2x4 and I'm now going to show you how we can insert a design table and use the Excel formula right to only use a portion of an existing cell inside of Excel. Let's now look at how we can do this. You can see that I have already created my model given the dimension that I want to drive a specific name and I'm now adding the design table to my SOLIDWORKS model. Inside of Excel, there are many valuable formulas that could potentially help you create the values of your dimensions that you are specifically looking for. With the design table open in a new window, I can now create my formula, which will now drive my length dimension. By selecting that cell and adding the formula right, I am specifying that I would like to use the last three digits of my configuration name, in this case, A3, and then multiplying that value by 12 to get my inches value for my length dimension. I then populate the rest of my configuration names and apply the same formula to all of my configurations. If I now go back to my SOLIDWORKS model, you can see that I have quickly created eight individual sizes with each of the lengths driven by their configuration name. This is showing just one example of how using Excel formulas can help you drive your own model dimensions. Again, my name is Matthew Francis. Thank you for watching this quick tips video.